In this video, I'm going to show you how to single out an image to make so if you want to put it onto your bill. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto Adobe Photoshop. Um, I'm also going to go into Google and we're going to find an image. So let's do Hmm, let's see, what should we look at? Andre the Giant. So then we go to Images. Search Tools. Size Large. And then this will work. View Image. I'm going to do save image as, actually I'm going to copy it, copy image, Photoshop, file, new, so it already automatically has all this information, and remember we talked about this in class, it says uh, preset clipboard, hit OK. Alright, so from here I... From here I can hit paste, or if you can see I can hit control V. So I'm going to hit control V because that's what I prefer to do. Alright, so now I have my image. So there's two different ways that we can single this out. Um, for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Most of the time it's going to show up as like a lasso. Um, if I hold it down, I can pull the magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to click hold the left button down. I'm just going to drag it all the way around. Everything I need. So I'm going to go kind of fast so it might not be perfect. So a couple of things that are important is that you also need to go all the way across the bottom. And then I'm going to I have to go back to where I started. And then once I go back there, it, there's a little circle that'll go, and that means that it is a complete shape. So I'm going to let go. Oh, see? If you don't click on the right spot, that'll happen. All right, there we go. Um, so at this point, what I need, I'm going to do is that I'm going to go and kind of refine it. This one actually looks pretty good, but if I click on the little rectangle circle, it'll turn pink, which is good. So what this does, it makes it so I can kind of clean up my selection. So to select more of something, I use my eraser tool and get rid of that pink. Here you can see in his shoulder, I can go in there and clean some of that up. And then a couple spots maybe in his hair actually look pretty good. And then if, But if I want to add more of the pink, I'm going to use my pencil tool. And just draw some of that in, which I don't really need to on this one. And it'll draw it in right there, just so you can see it. And then once I'm happy with what's going to be selected, I hit the square circle, or rectangle circle again, which is, this is actually called mask mode. So now there's my selection. Um, oh, another part that's pretty important is that I need to go to my background area, which is in my layers. I'm going to double click that, hit OK. So what that did is that got rid of my lock, there was a lock on there. And I'm actually just going to delete that. So I'm going to click, drag, and let go. So now I only have one layer. Uh, so if I hit delete right now, it's going to get rid of my under the giant. So I don't want that. So I'm going to hit Control Z. So I'm going to go up to select inverse, so that means select the opposite, if I hit delete. Okay, so you can see it selects exactly what I want. Another thing I can do um, is I can hit select modify feather, and what that does, it makes it so the edges are a little bit softer. Now I can hit delete, and we're good to go. Um, so now what I can do is I can hit File, Save As, 
and this is really important, that you don't just save it as um, a PSD, which stands for Photoshop. I want to save it as a PNG. So what that does, it makes it so the background is clear or transparent. So I'm going to save it as the right name, Andre. I'm going to hit save. Oh, not yet, actually. I want to make sure that it's saving in the right spot. So I need to go to the J drive. Junior save. Nelson. R4. And this is super important because if you don't save it in the right spot, it will um, eventually disappear from Adobe Illustrator because your Illustrator is linked to wherever that file is. So I'm going to hit save. Just hit OK. Cool. So now I can go into my bill, which is in Photoshop, and then I can just drag it or and drop it in there, and then it should you know work pro just properly. Um, it probably makes sense to try and do a bunch of your uh, images all at once, so that way when it's time ready to go, you're good to go. All right. Cool. Thank you for watching.